Yesterday was International Women's Day and there's been a women owned business in Buffalo. that has been a fixture in the community for 16 years, helping people style their home with vintage new decor. We're going behind the business with Teresa Desjarle, uh, the owner of <laughs> Porch and Atelier. Did I say it right? Atelier. Atelier. Yes, it says yay. <laughs> there we yes. go. Well, yay. I am excited about all the cool stuff here. We've been chatting for a while. Um, I want to start with your store okay. in Buffalo. It's a really cool looking, very ah, neat place. Tell me a little bit about it. We're so proud of the building. 1902, mm -hmm. built by, I've been told, Swedish men. <laughs> we have original stone walls. All three levels were commercial, Yeah. In, including the walkout on the lower level. Anyway, it's been well maintained. It's a great building and um, people love to come. I live on the third floor. Oh, very neat. And I have shops on the other two floors. And you love, you, you, you're, French themed or you're very you do love going to Paris when you kind of I get do. inspired for this stuff. and I call it unintentional French yeah. and so it's not like I go seeking French things but um, I love France and if I can get that European home mm -hmm. feel um, you know a uh, simplicity maybe um, and honoring the building yeah. and some of these things you know like old rafter boards that's kind of where that fits in. Can we talk about some of the pieces that you brought here yes, today? Yes, I'd like to. Tell us what you have. Well, first of all, I'll start with basically what we do is we upcycle. Upcycling, that's what we were talking um, we about. We upcycle. Yeah. And so, for instance, you'll see things like um, this rafter board, mm -hmm. uh, the cart, which folds. It's one of my favorite new acquisitions. Very cool. Um, you know, old concrete garden edging. Yeah. But we're using it in a different way. Where do you find all this stuff? Oh boy, it's it's do people fun. People bring it, or I mean, how do you get your hands on it? Um, I collect. Yeah. It's a mix of estate sailing, other shops. People come to me. I bought the card at the shop next door to mm -hmm. mine. <laughs> you know, and I, it's like kind of that one person, but one person yeah. likes. I'm just my heart stopped. Yeah. You know that kind of thing. I have a box of the edging, but I'm assuming someone isn't going to buy it and edge a garden. I like this as a decorator piece. Yeah. You know, and it's freestanding if you like to. That's and where would you put something like would that go on the, you'd keep it up like that? Where would you put it? I would mix it into um, you know, possibly staging um, shelving okay. or a mantle. Yeah. And always working with color. And so the reason these pieces work together is because um, we generally have a feeling where, yeah, we might have a pop of color somewhere. Yep. But it's kind of like at home, you're, you're working with a color feeling also. And um, then we also have on trend new, which would mean, um, you know, decor. Sure. And right now glass is very popular mm -hmm. as well as, um, yeah, items that have um, words on oh, them. Oh, that's cool. Yes. And you have a fun event going on at the store today as well. We correct? do. Tell it's a garden that. event. Well, we're lucky. We're trying to bring spring. People have had a hard winter, and <laughs> yes, we, we have, have too. We have. And so um, we have more plants, more greenery in the shop than usual. And we're having a garden event with demonstrations. Yeah. Um, also, um, uh, how would I put it? We have a book signing. A book with, signing. Yes. All and sorts of fun activities. Lots of things going on. Yes. Awesome. And we have things that are attainable to people. Yeah. So for instance, if you're inspired by something and you want to go home and make your own plant you terrarium or not, we've got the moss, we've Perfect. got the items, right? Teresa, thank you so much. Well, thank you. I love the information and we're going to tell you that the porch in Atelier is located at, his, <laughs> did I get it right that time? That's okay. Historic it, it's Buffalo, probably our claim Minnesota, to fame. Atelier, <laughs> Buffalo, Minnesota. I'll get it at some point on Central Avenue, the special event today from one, uh, starting at one o'clock yes. and we have a link to learn more on care11.com. Cool. Thanks so Thanks much. Thanks so much, Dave. You can tell us about a business you'd like to see featured on care11.com by emailing Heidi Wigdahl. All the information is on care11.com. And we'll be right back.